Welcome. In this video, we'll talk about uh, SQL Server Agent Service. In this case, uh, we use this uh, SQL Server Agent as a part of SQL Server Management Studio for uh, uh, creating jobs, uh, for creating uh, uh, many kinds of alerts. And uh, those uh, you see here are components of our SQL Server Agent. And we also have operators, proxies, and error logs to see if everything is. Uh, Everything's okay, and uh, do you have some errors during uh, execute some jobs or alerts or uh, sending a mail, uh, email or something like that? And uh, okay, let's get started. First of all, we should create our operator, and I will give the name DBA. And of course, for our operator, we need a mail. Uh, which one will receive all those alerts? And uh, in general, that is that. And just create uh, the one and uh, now we have our operators to use these operators and uh, to make possible to our SQL Server managers to just send our email uh, about jobs or some kind of alerts you know it's uh, it's important to create uh, uh, database database mail you know? I already uh, create and configure that mail but I will show you just uh, just uh, uh, how simple it is, you know, I use the uh, account name, I give just a SQL Server alert to if I receive mail on, on my email box here, uh, I will know that uh, that is from my SQL Server, you know, because I because of that I give that name, you know, just to be recognized. And uh, as you can see, uh, it's my email address again, on which I will receive every email. Okay, I use a name like uh, SMTP and exit port and also a username of course and uh, after that you should uh, enable that database mail for your SQL agent and it is pretty much easy thing to do uh, you can see here uh, to the menu alert system you should enable email profile and just uh, on mail system database mail uh, give the mail profile uh, as I said my mail my profile as you can see is uh, SQL Server DB mail which I give the name on uh, database mail so it's pretty much easy and uh, you uh, you already prepared your SQL Server to send the mail okay now now we'll create a new alert for example if you have a problem with uh, with a log file if it's too large or something like that you would like probably to get uh, email to be warned before um, your log file uh, get grow bigger than you want. Just uh, right click on alert uh, component and new alert and uh, just give the name for example log uh, I don't know uh, grow uh, let's say alert okay and uh, you will use SQL Server Performance Condition Alert and uh, the object will use database just to find where it is and uh, as we said we will look for a log file growing log file size okay this will be good enough and we'll choose our database and uh, for example we could say rise about uh, let's say thousand but we will see what is the current current uh, size of our transaction log okay we could confirm that and uh, again just to check something just to check something yes uh, when when uh, uh, alert or the log uh, get grow bigger than thousand uh, kilos it's uh, you should sh choose what you want to do you could execute some job or just to notify operators I will use this option here as we have our operator DBA we could create another one and uh, you could choose whatever you like no, it's much easier for me like that and uh, just a second to see okay we'll read this one here and just to see our, our log file here. Our log file is bigger than uh, 1000 kilos. Uh, this alert should, should uh, warn us and uh, send us alert to our email that we 
have a alpha file uh, bigger than, uh, for example, 100 or 1000 or whatever kilobytes, you know, whatever the size is. Uh, if we change this, we could use, for example, just four four response, like uh, include the letter, text, in email, and uh, just simple message, and just confirm that. And since our log is still uh, far larger than uh, we we configure in our uh, in our alert. And uh, still the old one, I'll, I will delete this one and just uh, delete it and uh, let's open the new one and you can see description of our error and uh, you can see it's uh, it's very easy and you know, very simple to configure something like that, some alert uh, on that basis and also uh, those were alerts and uh, also you can conf configure some alerts to inform you about uh, deadlocks or something like that like uh, um, number of transaction and uh, you have a really really a huge option for example SQL Server event uh, uh, you can choose between uh, all those errors here you know but the important are this one from uh, 19 to 25 you know those are let's say not a fatal error also you can uh, and uh, it's uh, much uh, more useful at least for me SQL Server performance uh, conditional alert you know to see if uh, you have some problems with uh, with uh, some SQL statistic or, or uh, database or execution statistics or logs for example which is very important and uh, okay it's uh, a uh, huge amount of option and uh, it's very useful and now I will show you uh, how you can create jobs I have already did here two jobs but uh, those jobs are created automatically from uh, my uh, maintenance maintenance plan here and uh, in my in my management uh, uh, tools and maintenance plan I have my uh, already prepared backup you know but it's uh, not topic for 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 this video i will explain you in one of my future videos how you can create a backup maintenance plan and how how you can create a, a restore and uh, also how you can uh, automatically schedule jobs for for example full backup uh, differential backup and uh, log backup in this case i have already uh, Adventure Work 2012 full backup and uh, also log backup. I will create one job uh, using Transact uh, SQL and uh, SQL Server Agent uh, for creating dif differential backup. And it's it's uh, very simple. I already have one uh, one code here and uh, I'll just paste it in the new job. In okay, I should close this and new job. Uh, uh, for differential backup and uh, just create new job and uh, give the name diff let's say and uh, uh, category you can choose uh, one of uh, already existing category but you can also create a new one and uh, steps step name is dirt for example it's okay and I will use uh, Adventure Work 2012, and uh, I will use uh, I will use this code here. And as you can see here, is simple transact for backuping Adventure Work 2012, and uh, with the path where I want to make this backup, I, I will use uh, backup DB map, and uh, which options I want you I want to use it's differential. So it's very easy and, uh, and that will be that uh, for for creating step for backup you can schedule your backup for example daily uh, or of course even every three hour for example no? and give the name differential for okay that will be okay and uh, okay, uh, 
that would be that. And uh, we could wait. <laughs> yeah, I put on every three hours, you know, but we will not wait three hours. We will create this job uh, as right now. And I will show you. Okay, it's success. And if we if we look on our uh, DB uh, DB backup map, uh, you will see that we have our differential backup here. And also one more thing, I want to show you. You can use uh, oh, you can you uh, you can use notification. For example, you can use email, and your uh, already created DBA operator or can create a new one. You can create. Uh, as many as li you like for for different people in your organization you can create uh, uh, different operators so uh, I will put this uh, when when the job succeeds just to see if everything's work because uh, in in general you need uh, if if job fails of course but uh, in this case for this example just to see if our database mail working and our, our notification working we'll use this one and execute again just see what happening here we still receive those errors probably yes okay we'll stop this we'll stop this we'll stop our our transaction log uh, alert growing alert yes and I will delete all, all those mails okay Again, it's possible that we delete uh, that one we needed. We will execute again our differential backup and we will look what will happen with our email. Yes, you can see it's uh, job succeeded and uh, what uh, which user uh, invoke, the, invoke the job, start the job and uh, some some useful information okay also you can uh, see uh, you can see your history of executing this job and uh, it's very easy to see if you have any error and uh, to try to, to, to fix if anything is wrong so it's very useful you have a server job name step name notification and the message of course okay uh, that will be all for this video in this video we talked about uh, benefits of sql server agent uh, about components of, of uh, sql server agent how you can create jobs how you can create alerts how you can create schedule for jobs and many other things and uh, there is one more very important option which uh, the SQL Server Agent provides us it's uh, actually multi-server administration and uh, it uh, could be tricky to configure this uh, multi-server administration or better say create multi-server environment and uh, since you need the uh, Active Directory also you need the uh, domain user for this and uh, I will show you how you can create uh, multi-server environment in one of my future video it's very interesting uh, it's actually managing uh, two or more servers across one master server and it's uh, very easy to create and transfer jobs you already created on your master server and it's very useful you will see okay that will be that and uh, thank you for watching